This one would be a night shoot with all the hassles that that implied, but we arrived in time to set up under waning afternoon light. I had anticipated that this would be an interior shoot with a single fire truck in the fire station's garage, but the firemen were excited to display their two ladder trucks outside. Never one to turn down an unexpected challenge, I readily agreed to the exterior location. I brought along a big old crate of 600 EX RT speedlights and ended up using nine altogether. As is often the case for me, I began by setting up my backlights. Anticipating the length of the fire trucks, I brought along a lighting bridge that I could support with three light stands. This was used to support three underslung 600EX speedlights that were destined to illuminate the long sides of the fire trucks. I also rigged one of the 600s with a red theatrical gel and used a pipe clamp to attach it to the top rung of the front fire truck's ladder. This would provide a dramatic red kicker to my foreground firefighters. I also placed a slave speedlight in each of the fire truck's driver's compartments. These would shoot through the truck's windshields and add a bit of life to an otherwise dead looking area. My key light consisted of two 600 EX RT speedlights shooting through an asymmetrical strip bank. I like this key light combination because it recycles quickly and it's flattering for both individuals and small groups. I also brought along a couple of big LED spotlights so the video crew would have some illumination after nighttime fell. With these units placed, I began to block the action for my on-camera talent. The firemen were in full firefighting gear and ready to go as the sun began to set. After a few last minute adjustments to the video lights, we were ready to rock and roll. I decided to try Canon's new 70-300 L-Series zoom for the extra compression it offered. Once my talent blocking was established from foreground to background, all it took was a little hustling to make sure that all of my speed lights were aimed properly. Let's take a look at the firefighter's lighting schematic. My 5D Mark III was equipped with an ST-E3RT as my master. My A group was two 600EX RTs in an asymmetrical strip bank. Both were set to ETTL mode. B group was a single 600EX RT in the open door of the frontmost fire truck. I set this unit to auto mode since I felt it might be better than ETTL in this situation. My walking firefighter would be constantly and rapidly changing his distance from the light source and the instant quenching of the flash burst in auto mode works particularly well under these conditions. The C group consisted of three 600EX RTs set to manual mode. These three units were arrayed along my lighting bridge. The D group was a single 600 RT fitted with a red gel and aimed at the backs of the foreground firefighters. This one was placed to mimic the feel of the fire truck's emergency beacon. E group consisted of two speed lights, one in each of the truck's cab areas. These would add a bit of separation light for my foreground talent. With all of my lights well placed and ready to go, I began to shoot. After starting with a single foreground firefighter and another crossing in the background, I quickly added a second firefighter to the foreground. A test frame indicated that I needed to adjust the aim of my B unit in the truck's doorway. I also took the opportunity to tweak the red gel D unit to initiate a bit of red flare above my subject's heads. I decided to widen the angle of the coverage of the foreground truck's in-cab E unit and stuffed it back into a nook afforded by the overhead console. Now it was well and truly dark. You have to give a lot of credit to the 5D Mark III's autofocus system when it's working under such challenging conditions. Soon we were shooting away with excellent results. I really like the handsome but slightly stylized results. We had good modeling on the gentleman in the foreground, adequate representation of the fire trucks, and a brilliant red light to remind us that these guys run toward the things that make others flee for their lives. True heroes, and we were pleased to be able to work with them.